Okay, I just talked to my master beekeeper, Bob. I'm gonna get a, go down there next week. He's gonna get me all set up with everything I need to put the three bee colonies I just ordered from my friend Elisa. Ooh, looky there. So she's gonna go down to California, middle of April. Bring back some Italian honeybees. So I'll be picking those up and getting them all put in my hives nice and cozy. I'm gonna have to go ahead and maybe prune some of these branches back, get my paths going again, take care of some of these blackberry vines, get my path together here again. I, I don't know if I'll be able to build a bridge uh oh, <laughs> looks like I left the top off this one. That's okay. There weren't any bees in here anymore anyway, so. But we're gonna take these, take these up. And then get everything all squared away. So I'm ready to go. Let's do this. And while I'm doing it, I'll be able to create another path just by walking back and forth. I just felt a raindrop on my head. So I want to get this taken care of right now. going to rain the next couple of days. Then it looks like it's going to start getting dry on Tuesday. So that's when I'm going to start burning. Bob's helping me out with the with the hives and all the equipment I need. And I'm going to help him out by helping him get all of his stuff sorted out and taken away. He's got a lot of old hives, old, old boxes and frames that he just needs to get rid of. And since I'm able to burn where I'm at, he lives down in Puyallup and he's not able to burn. Boy, he's got a lot of stuff too. He's got, he's got stuff stacked up all over the place. And he's building birdhouses. So I'll get some of those and scatter them around the place. And he's gonna set me up with saws and wood, everything I need to build my own. Hive bodies is what they're called. Deep hive bodies for brood. Honey supers for st 
storing nectar and pollen for the boot for the bees to eat how it works is the queen will lay eggs in the bottom box yo ow ow blackberry vines And then the upper chambers or cells they use to st store their pollen and their nectar. So I need to be all set up by the end of April and the flowers will start blooming and the nectar will start flowing what would I do? oh here we go the first thing that shows up are the dandelions And a lot of people spray their dandelions. Hello. Got a little mouse there. Hey, little mouse. That's what happens. The mice will, will make little nests. Hey, come here. Come here. You got to go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. There he goes. So he's going to have to find a new nest, but he probably won't have time. Well, he might, she might, I don't know. Sorry about that, you know, I wish I could help help the little critter out, but. My beehives aren't the place to, <laughs> to do it. That's why you kinda, if I had bees in there, I would, have an entrance that would be too small for the mice to get in. But since I don't, I haven't been that concerned. Now this year, years in the past, I haven't really been on top of discouraging the yellow jackets that's the main thing that'll get your honeybees. They're not after the honey, they're after the larva. So you have these yellow jacket traps that you hang up in the near vicinity. Ow! Ow! Oh man! I think I've got a I think I have a blackberry thorn in the old boot. 